Inflation is the highest it's been in 39 years. In tonight's top story, for many of us who live on a strict budget, this increase can have a huge impact on how we live our lives. Fox Story 3's Maddie Weiris takes a closer look at these moving pieces and joins us live in studio with more. Hey, Maddie. Hey, Alex. Yeah, as consumers, we've noticed a big price jump at gas stations for rent payments and at grocery stores. And the state of Louisiana ranks in the top five states for people facing hunger, so every penny counts. I spoke to an economics expert about why this is happening and when we might see some relief. We're really almost in a perfect storm for, for generating this kind of inflation. It's a combination of the pandemic, supply chain backups, worker shortages, and a higher demand for goods. I really think just people underestimated how quickly this, this blip would work its way through the economy. Consumers are not going out as often, whether it's to restaurants or events, so they're spending more money on products. So part of the problem is that just the demand for goods has gone up. We're still at over 100 ships trying to get into the port of Los Angeles. So all those goods coming in are stuck, you know, waiting on containers on boats to, to be unloaded and then shifted. So uh, that caused this price to go up. A trickle down effect impacting vital services here in the Arklatex. We see more people coming to, um, to receive food. And it's unfortunate that our supply chain is still having such a negative effect on the amount of food that's available not just in our grocery stores, but for food banks too. That coupled with high transportation costs has made our job very, very difficult. Their inventory is at an all time low. As that food is not available, um, we're having to go and actually purchase more, which makes it very expensive for us and then pay those higher transportation fees. Yeah. And we know so many people depend on us for their food to fill that gap that, you know, our team works very, very hard to do the very best they can to help to help our neighbors. So the question is, when will we see some light at the end of this dark financial tunnel? I tend to believe we're looking at inflation for at least another eight months to a year. Inflation, it kind of works its way. It's, you know, it's kind of a hidden tax. It works its way through the entire economy and, and hits people. And as you just heard, the Food Bank of Northwest Louisiana is short on supplies and they would appreciate any donations. If you need help cover utility bills or rent, there are multiple local agencies that can help. You can find that on our website, arklatexhomepage.com.